in 1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. Not that room! Not that room! Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all times. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. This situation must be controlled before it's too late. They are multiplying too rapidly. Dawn of the Dead. Meet me on the roof at 9 o'clock. Get out. I don't believe We're it. We're going to get out in the chopper. We've got to survive. Somebody's got to survive. They kill for one reason. They kill for food. They eat their victims. Imagine, if you will, that something has gone terribly wrong. Shoot it, man. Now, except the fact that there's no escaping the horrible consequences, George Romero brings back the dead. Night of the Living Dead has ended. Dawn of the Dead is here. <laughs> We must not be lulled by the concept that these are our family members or our friends. They are not. They will not respond to such emotions. Operator dead. Post abandoned. You may never get out of the room. It's everywhere. What the hell is it? Looks like a shopping center, one of those big indoor malls. What are they doing? Why do they come here? Some kind of instinct, memory, what they used to do. This was an important place in their lives. What is it? We've got a war. I'm afraid. We have spawned our own savagery. Soon, it will consume us all. It is a horrible, hauntingly accurate vision of the mindless excesses of a society gone mad. They must be destroyed on sight! When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. We are down to the line, folks. We are down to the line. Dawn of the dead. In 1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all times. Dawn of the Dead. Night of the Living Dead has ended. Dawn of the Dead is here. Not gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. They must be destroyed on sight. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Dawn of the dead. and attacking the living. I'm not so sure what to believe, Doctor. Oh, they kill for food. They eat their victims. Do you understand that, Mr. Berman? That's what keeps them going. I think Foster's right. We're losing. Yeah, but not to the enemy. We're blowing it ourselves. dead body must be exterminated, either by destroying the brain or severing the brain from the rest of the body. Very much. 
got this helicopter. He does traffic reports for GON, and he's running out with it. I'm PM all right. Stephen, we can't. We've got to... We've got to nothing, Fran. We've got to survive. Somebody's got to survive. All police units have been issued heavy caliber sidearms. In fact, it will be essential to hit the zombie in the head in order to bring him down definitively. Dead walk, senores. We must stop the killing or lose the war. Get his head up! Get his head up! Let's say the lady gets killed. You be able to chop off her head? Der grausamste, brutalste, erdrückendste Abstieg in die Hölle, den die Leinwand je gesehen hat. Der größte Kulturschocker aller Zeiten, der die ruhigen 70er Jahre in Unruhe versetzen wird. Gegen diesen Film wirkt der Exorzist wie ein Kinderfilm. George R. Romero's Zombie. Der Film, für den Zeitungen und das Fernsehen in Amerika nicht werten dürfen. Zombie. Es gibt keinen härteren Film. durch uns zerstört werden, sonst verwandelt er sich ebenfalls in ein Monstrum. Nach einiger Zeit erhebt es sich und tötet und seine Opfer verwandeln sich ebenfalls und töten auch. Auch wenn es pietätlos klingt, die Leichen müssen zerstört werden, indem wir das Gehirn entweder irreparabel schädigen oder es vom übrigen Körper separieren. Die Öffentlichkeit verlangt nach Tatsachen. Was wissen Sie genau? Einiges wissen wir mit Sicherheit. Zum Beispiel, warum Sie töten. Sie töten aus einem einzigen Grund. Sie brauchen nach.
Los, durch seinen Kopf hoch! Rutsche, durch seinen Kopf hoch, verdammt nochmal! von unserem Reporter beim Nationalen Krisenstab die Bestätigung, dass die Verbindung mit Detroit endgültig abgerissen ist. Das dürfte bedeuten, dass dort keine Menschen mehr am Leben sind. Das gleiche gilt für Atlanta, ja überall. Boston, Philadelphia und New York City. Die letzten Berichte aus Detroit und Atlanta besagen, dass sich dort ein unübersehbarer Zug von Toten durch die Straßen wälzt und alles zerstört, was sich ihm in den Weg stellt. <lacht> Was sind Sie? Ein Teil von uns. In der Hölle ist kein Platz mehr. Was? Hat früher immer mein Großvater erzählt. Schon mal was von Makumba gehört? Oder Voodoo? Mein Großvater war ein Priester in Trinidad. Er pflegte zu sagen, wenn in der Hölle kein Platz mehr ist, kommen die Toten auf die Erde. George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all times. Dawn of the Dead. Night of the Living Dead has ended. Dawn of the Dead is here. <laughs> gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. They must be destroyed on sight. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Dawn of the dead. This picture contains scenes of violence that may be considered shocking. No one under 17 will be admitted. In 1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all times. Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead contains scenes of violence that may be considered shocking. No one under 17 will be admitted. In 1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all times. Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead contains scenes of violence that may be considered shocking. No one under 17 will be admitted. In 1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all times. Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead contains scenes of violence that may be considered shocking. No one under 17 will be admitted. In 1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all times. Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead contains scenes of violence that may be considered shocking. No one under 17 will be admitted. In 
1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. Not that room, not that room! Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all times. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. This situation must be controlled before it's too late. They are multiplying too rapidly. Dawn of the dead. Meet me on the roof at 9 o'clock. Get out. I don't believe We're it. We're going to get out in the chopper. We've got to survive. Somebody's got to survive. They kill for one reason. They kill for food. They eat their victims. Imagine, if you will, that something has gone terribly wrong. Shoot it, man. Now, accept the fact that there's no escaping the horrible consequences. George Romero brings back the dead. Night of the Living Dead has ended. Dawn of the Dead is here. We must not be lulled by the concept that these are our family members or our friends. They are not. They will not respond to such emotions. Operator dead. Post abandoned. You may never get out of the It's everywhere. What the hell is it? Looks like a shopping center, one of those big indoor malls. What are they doing? Why do they come here? Some kind of instinct, memory, what they used to do. This was an important place in their lives. What is it? We've got a war. I'm afraid. We have spawned our own savagery. Soon, it will consume us all. It is a horrible, hauntingly accurate vision of the mindless excesses of a society gone mad. They must be destroyed on sight! When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. We are down to the line, folks. We are down to the line. Dawn of the Dead. time is it anyway? Not quite nine. Nothing? Well, as long as we're getting a pattern, that must mean they're sending a signal. No longer using occupancy in private residences, no matter how safe or well protected they may be. The president today has sent to Congress a package of initiatives now on those early reports I gave to you that communications with Detroit have been knocked out along with Atlanta, Boston, and certain sections of Philadelphia. Billy, and New York well, I know Gio ends out by now. Again. That place is a madhouse back communications there. Communications with Detroit, Atlanta, People are crazy. Have they just organized? I can't believe they let it get this bad. I can't believe they couldn't handle it. Look at us. Look what we were able to do today. Knock the shit out of them. They never even touched us. Not really. They touched us good, Flyboy. We're lucky to get out with our asses. You don't forget that. You underestimate those suckers and you get eaten. They got one big advantage over us. They don't think. And that bunch out there, that's just a handful. And every day there's gonna be more. But those things can be stopped so easily. If, if people would just listen, do what has to be done. How about it, Flyboy? Let's say the lady gets killed. You be able to chop off her head?
She all right? She looks blown. What do you expect? No, I mean she really looks sick. Physically. She's pregnant. surprise for you. I wanted to see Dawn of the Dead so badly. I was in Spain doing a tour, and I saw it in Spanish. But I thought, it doesn't matter. such an impression on me. It wasn't just the violence or anything like that, but the characters were so memorable, and it made such an impact on me that two years ago, I made a special trip from Charlotte, North Carolina, just to, to this mall. You wouldn't believe it. Walking around here, it was a really creepy feeling, but it was worth the trip. Came all the way from Germany, and this is really number one. Dawn of the Dead. Just came, on the, just, just came because of the movie, and Dawn of the Dead is number one. I went to uh, elementary school in Evan City, right by the Night of the Dead Cemetery. So coming here today for the Dawn of the Dead Mall is a special treat, especially with George being here. Looks different, but uh, I keep looking after zombies.
My name is Kando Tatsumi. I'm living in my temple outside of Kyoto City, Japan. First I saw Dawn of the Dead was 1978 spring. I was 16 years old, preparing to enter the Buddhism monastery. I remember quite well how much I was shocked. Life on this a paramount subject in Buddhism, and Romero's attitudes gave me much to consider. After seeing Dawn, Dawn of the Dead, I tried to explain to my master. He said, you are stupid. Since then, I'm carrying the story of Dawn of Death with me. Some people say, Buddhist monk should not enjoy this kind of film. To them, I have to say, you don't understand the film.